So, Stephen Bowers here, Director of EMF, and I'm talking this morning with Phil Dunn, our Northern Ireland representative at large. Um, so, Phil, thanks for taking the time to talk to us. It's a pleasure. Not that you'd had a choice. No. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it is a pleasure, I'm sure. Right, but what I am interested in, Phil, is first of all, is how you found out about EMF or how long you've known about EMF. Yeah, well, I have known about EMF for a long time, um, mainly through my, my local church, Balamani Baptist Church. We have been supporting EMF for a long number of years. And uh, so my knowledge of the mission goes way back and I've always followed it with, with interest. i um, always been keen to learn how the work is going on. And uh, in more recent times, the opportunity opened up then to get more fully involved with the mission. And well, I just couldn't resist. Um, so really, yeah, it's, it's going back a long time. Right. Yep. Okay. So that really takes up what was going to be my second question, Phil, which was, uh, were you involved directly before actually working for EMF? I, I presume you, you were involved to some extent mm. receiving prayer information or maybe in some other way. Yeah, that's right. Um, it wouldn't have been as formal um, as it is just now, but uh, certainly we would have been getting lots of the literature, the vision magazines, the prayer uh, letters coming through. And also the church in more recent times has developed a partnership with one of our workers in Portugal. And so again, that ramped up the level of interest and, and the level of knowledge that I had in the mission uh, prior to, to actually working for them. Um, so in terms of working actually for EMF full time, how long does that go back now? Yeah, almost four years now, which is hard to believe. The time has just flown by. Um, I must say it's taken me quite a while to, to find my feet. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to take on board. I mean, we're supporting almost 90 workers in 16 countries. So there's a lot of information you need to, to learn and um, a lot of people you need to meet. Um, but I, f I feel like now I'm beginning to find my feet and really enjoy um, working for the mission. Um, a lot of my work involves traveling around Northern Ireland. So I'm up and down the province um, speaking in churches and different groups, different settings, promoting the work and trying to raise interest about uh, the missionaries on the ground. And I really enjoy that. I really do enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, tell us a little bit about your work, sort of give us a, an insight into how you go about your work, the kind of things you do and get involved with. Sure. Well, a big bulk of my work is actually traveling across Northern Ireland and going into different churches um, promoting the work, um, presenting various aspects, preaching as well. So I speak at a lot of midweeks and Sunday services. Um, so that takes up a lot of my time, but I also am involved in arranging Go Europe mission teams where we arrange to take groups of people from the UK and elsewhere uh, to go over to one of our mission partners and to spend a week or 10 days. And that's been a relatively new um, uh, sphere for us as a mission, but it's something that's very positive. We also bring across missionaries on deputation, and so I will take them around the province and, and get them some exposure, let people meet them face to face, which always goes down a treat. And as well as that, then I arrange the, the two mission conferences that we have here, one in the spring and one in the autumn. And whenever I've got enough time after all of that, I do travel a little bit across to the mission field to meet some of the mission partners uh, on site and to get to know them a little better. So it's a very full and packed job, uh, but I must say I really do enjoy it. Yeah. So you find that by visiting some of the missionaries um, where they are, that that then helps you when you present about them to churches, gives you a real feel for them? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I never would present on a mission, um, on a on a missionary that I haven't actually been to before and seen the church and learned something of the the particular challenges and opportunities and even just experiencing the whole culture, um, within that setting. That's all so valuable for me because you want to be as useful as you can and as yes, formative yes. as you can whenever you're out and about. Uh, well, two more questions, Phil. Yep. One is, what would you say if if you can? I mean. What would you say is the biggest challenge of your work? The biggest challenge, I would say, is knowing when to stop. 
Um, I find it really hard to know when to pull the brakes. And uh, obviously I've got a young family, I'm married. We've got three kids, 13, 10 and five. And so you've got to find that balance between ministry and family life. And sometimes that can be a little bit tricky uh, because I am so passionate about the mission. Uh, yes, I naturally yes. find myself perhaps taking on maybe more than I should at times. And so that's always a case of wisdom and also having a good wife to be able to have a wee word in your ear sometimes to say, slow down a little bit. So that would be probably my biggest challenge, I think. No, I can understand that because, you know, as you say, there's so many missionaries, so many countries. There's a certain sense in which you could be pr pursuing something almost 24-7 if you wanted to, because yeah. the, the work is so full in that respect yeah. and what about the biggest blessing then if it's possible to identify i'm sure there's a number of things that encourage you but is there anything yeah. particular you could highlight i think probably the biggest blessing that i've experienced is actually just meeting our mission partners um i mean i've never failed to be impressed by the caliber of people that we're supporting uh, these are people who are very much word-centered they're evangelistically minded they're faithful, they're patient, they persevere. And so meeting these people and getting to know them and beginning to, to share in their joys and sorrows and ministry, that has been such a blessing to me. And also having them come and stay in our family, in our home, uh, seeing our kids get to meet them and ask them questions around the dinner table and so on, that is, that's a rich blessing as well. Yeah. Great. Well, Phil, it's been uh, a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you for your time. And uh, I trust you'll continue to know blessing in the days ahead. Thank you so much.